minutes ago. This is a Boeing 747. It's a dream lifter operated by Atlas Air. So it was on its way to McConnell Air Force Base, but somehow ended up landing about 12 miles away at Jabara Airport on a runway that is about two thirds of the length of the runway that it should be for this kind of plane to take off. CNN correspondent Renee Marsh is joining me now as we are watching this takeoff. Uh, so far as I'm looking at the video with you, Renee, success? Yeah, it looked pretty good to me. It was pretty smooth, uh, Brooke. It happened, I would say, just about maybe eight, nine minutes ago. And the flight is a pretty short one. We're talking about a roughly eight hour flight to get to its, I'm sorry, eight minute flight to get to its destination. Uh, but really, the investigation begins as to what went wrong here. How did this plane end up at the wrong airport and that's what the FAA is going to try and figure out. They want to know if these pilots they were using their navigational systems or, or were they using a visual approach and if that was the case did they mistakenly think that they were landing at the correct airport. So still lots of unanswered questions but what is really clear is there was a lot of confusion in the cockpit. We actually have a little bit of that sound of the pilots talking to the control tower. Take a listen. Time four two four one heavy and from you you know which airport you're at. Well, we think we have a pretty good pulse. Time four two four one heavy, Roger. You uh, appear that appears that you're at your bar. Uh, take it. Time four two four one heavy. Uh, we saw the plane on the radar and it appears that you are at your airport.